Does rank matter? Is working towards a rank signify skill? This, my deluded audience, is the topic of this video. Does rank matter? In short, that's basically going to be the main focal point uh, of today's video. And first, I guess I'll just ask you, Fee, what do you, do you do you think rank matters? And if so, to what extent? My go to catchphrase I've been using since Tekken 7 because the rank system is not like a traditional ELO system like chess or like a pretty robust one like Riot Games uses. Mm -hmm. So I've always said if you get to a certain rank, it doesn't mean you're a certain skill level. But if you're struggling to get to a certain rank, there's probably some stuff you can work on. And I stand by that. I stand by that statement really heavily in terms of approaching ranks in Tekken specifically. That sounds really good. That's actually a really concise way of wording basically what I feel like I've been struggling to articulate because I've been someone who has said before countless times, whether it be on social media or on YouTube, like rank doesn't matter. And of course it does to some extent. There is a correlation between a player's skill level and their rank, but I feel like that correlation is pretty loose. So as you said, like, if you can get to a certain rank, um, then it may not necessarily mean that you're good, but if you're struggling to get to that rank, then there's definitely some areas that you need to sharpen up in order to get to that point. Just like the rising FGC influencer and our fellow headband wearing soldier has stated, your rank doesn't exactly equate to skill, but it does show your overall experience in the game. In all competitive games, we all want to see where our knowledge of the game places us in either game's hall of fame. We continue to improve and strive to achieve the standard flag that represents our commitment. My interpretation is that rank does matter, and it does quantify skill to a certain extent. As you journey through ranked in Tekken 8, you'll see the overall difference of movement, reaction timing, execution of commands, and split second decision making skills the higher the rank you go. Not only that, you'll see the difference between your past self to your current self as you progress. The problem entails when those that worry about the difference uh, means of acquiring said rank. For instance, players that plug. Yeah, this is this is lag. Is he? Did he rage quit? He rage quit. Yo, uh, I don't get why Bandai can't just f***ing oh. add a quicktality in this game. Players that save scum. Are they warranted the rank they've earned in game? Of course not. What about those that choose to one and done? Or those that choose no restrictions in ranked? And come across those who are much lower in rank or even those much higher than their current rank. Did they earn their rank? Not really. My reasoning as to why that is, is that those players don't care to improve. They just want to get the shiny badge and say they've earned it when they didn't bother to run the full set or fight those equally around their ranks. It's like in tournaments where belt contestants only have a first to two to then see who wins the next bracket. If you decided to just win one set and you don't get to move to the next bracket, you had to win both sets. If you decided to just win one set, you don't get to move to the next bracket, you have to win both sets. However, this complicates things if rank truly matters in game. Again, I still think it does. If you come across someone who truly dedicated their time into the game and you face them and you see the difference of experience comparable to the individual that won and duns or the plugger that gained said rank, it's like in those action movies where both experienced fighters can speak with one another through a few violent interactive exchanges and then act as if they had a cordial conversation. With your weaker opponent, it's as if they bark so loudly while wearing the finest threads but can't throw hands for shit. In the end, you'll see that there is a difference of player expression at the higher ranks than it is in the lower ranks. Since the game is still new and has been only for 4 months and a half since its release, players will continue to adapt and continue to learn their matchups. I wouldn't be surprised when players at the higher ranks that struggle to get there will suddenly drop 2-3 to three ranks once players get a hold of the gimmicks some of the characters throw out like Victor, Feng Wei, and Dragunov. But then again, we are starting to see a meta shift.
to some new powerhouses through the new patch, so we'll see. I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this short video. If you liked and wish to support me, hit that like button, share it around the globe, and subscribe to see more of my shit, and stay tuned for more. See ya.